What's going on? And welcome back to another adventure. In today's episode, we are continuing the Ford E150 Desert Tan Adventure Van build series. Go back and watch the other videos that we have in the build series. Those videos include starting that build, ripping the partition wall out, kind of just getting a feel for the layout. The second video in that build series is installing the subfloor. This is episode three of the build series. And what we're going to be doing today is installing furring strips to the ribs of the van. So we have some framing to work with to mount furniture to, to mount our cedar planks to, and overall just have a good starting base for this build. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I think step one, of installing framing into your van, probably to tackle the ceiling. This is because it is exhausting to hold the furring strips above your head the entire time. And if you get this out of the way, the walls will seem a lot easier. So how I did this before is I cut the furring strips into three sections, one for the middle and then one for the sides. I'm going to cut just one section for this one and try to drill it into the middle maybe first and then into the sides and I think we'll be able to kind of just use one strip at a time. That will go a lot quicker, I'll have to make less cuts and it'll just be one solid piece. So let's get kind of a rough estimate of what we need. It's looking like about 52 inches. It's that simple. So as you can see, we have three mounting points now on the ceiling to hang our cedar tongue and groove. This will also be a good crevice for our polyiso foam to hang out in. Now what we need to do is continue the framing but on the wall. What you want to do if you're doing this yourself is find the large spaces that kind of stick out from the actual exterior of the van. These are known as the ribs and these are safe places to drill into. So I think we're going to put one strip across this entire space right here and then one strip here, one strip there, and then one strip at the end. So these are actually the offcuts from what we used from the ceiling mounting points, the framing up here, and it actually fits in pretty nicely right here. I think what I'm going to do is just cut this in half so it fits the curvature of the van a little bit more. this piece it's uh, 46 inches and I think I'm gonna cut it in half and get it into this corner So we got the framing in. It was a super successful day. Next episode is going to be all about insulation. We're gonna be installing one inch poly iso foam board into every open space of this van. I think it's going to be awesome. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Like this video, comment something down below that you liked about this video or something that I can improve on for the future. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.